In this video, I'm going to walk you through all the steps you need to do to set up your home internet. Either you have Metro by T-Mobile or T-Mobile home internet. And this is Variety Stick. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. And without any further ado, let's find out. Now, I have been very interested to buy the home internet from Metro by T-Mobile. The problem is that every time I give my address to them, they say you don't have coverage. I know 100% I have coverage with T-Mobile and I have good 5G, but why the home internet does not work? They were telling me this is a getaway, different band, different network, doesn't work the same as your phone. I was being very skeptical about buying this product. Till I decide, you know what, let me give it a shot. Maybe I try and give them a different address. But the problem with Metro and T-Mobile, based on the address, either they give you unlimited or they don't give you unlimited. So you need to ask the local store, either T-Mobile or Metro, before even you purchase this product. Because sometimes they give you limited gigabytes, sometimes they give you unlimited. Lucky for me, the address I give, which is not my address, they give me unlimited a plan. Now this router, when you purchase, they must have the SIM card inserted, which is goes right here if you wonder what is this. It uh, should be pre-installed, but the one I purchased, they give me the SIM card, and I just did it by myself. And including this was a T-Mobile SIM card, so it's not going to work with T-Mobile. Pay attention and make sure they have them insert the SIM card for you. Get everything done from the beginning before you even bring it home with you. Make sure uh, the payment is applied and it's active from their end. Other than that, you're going to have all kind of problems. And another important thing, guys, when you want to power the device to use the same wall brick they give you, and that should go right there. And you have two Ethernet out, which is good if you want to connect something wirely. And make sure when you set up this, at least for the first time, till you find the right spot, to take it very close to the window, according to T-Mobile instruction, which is will work the best for you. Now, if you wonder what is this hole here, that's going to be for factory reset. If you want to just factory reset, maybe forget the password, blah, blah, blah. So just press and hold for five seconds. Use like a semi ejector tool or like a paper clip and it should factory reset. Let me flip it on the other side. We're going to have a screen here. It's going to show us the signal. But before doing this, okay, we need to download specific application. Let me bring the phone and together we're going to download this application. So the best thing to do, go to Google Play Store or use the paper that came with the phone. It tells you scan this barcode and it should take you right away to the application. I know this application. Go to Google Play Store and you need to type the name of the application which is T-Mobile Internet. So let me find Google Play Store in this phone and I just need to type T mobile home internet application and once you see this application go ahead and hit install and install this application and open the application I would highly recommend to leave the uh, home internet router unplugged from the power for right now we'll let you know when the best time to power the device now the app is trying to load now press on setup device now choose what type of device you have we have 5g getaway tab on 5g getaway now it'll ask you to connect the power so let me bring the the cord and connect it and it should go from here you guys can see right now t-mobile a logo start appears here that means uh, we are good to go so tab next on the app and now they're gonna ask you if you want to watch a video and this video all about how to get the best reception for the modem they tell you you have to be very close from the window where you can boost the signal I'm gonna skip the video but you can watch it yourself will help you now it's gonna ask you if you want to share your location or enter the address I would just use share location and allow So you got it. Now find the spot. Now it tells you go to the best spot you can get signal and scan the barcode, which is you guys will find on the back. So let me go ahead and flip this and try and just to scan the RQ code. 
right so I have already scanned the barcode now it says connect power we already did this so go ahead and hit next now you now you have to allow two minutes for the getaway to start we'll come back after two minutes now after we waited two minutes gonna tell you next so go ahead next now it might ask you for upgrade for the firmware. I don't see any upgrade right now. It tells you like wake up and check if you have an upgrade. Uh, so I would just say no right now because there is no upgrade. Now it's gonna ask you to connect the Wi-Fi from your phone to the getaway. Tap next and I will walk you through the steps. And you must allow and you just need also to wait up to 60 seconds now this is the information you need to do and it tells you here you have the password and it tells you the password should be also on the back when you connect to Wi-Fi so now let me go ahead and exit from here and go to the phone settings right there and go to connection and then go to Wi-Fi. I'm connecting right now to Wi-Fi, but I want to connect to the one it says T-Mobile. There you go. So we find a T-Mobile network here. So we need to connect to this one. Now it's asked me for a password. So I need just to flip the home internet router and we must have a password. And the password should be this long password. Maybe later on it's going to give us option to change the password. But let me go ahead and skip this part, put the password, and I will come back to you. Now just make sure to put the correct password. And that was the longest password I have ever seen in my life. So go ahead and click connect and see what's going to happen. Now it should connect to T-Mobile. E494 maybe in your router is going to be a different name but now we know it's connected now let me go ahead and go back to the application all right so the application is doing checking Wi-Fi network now it's going to ask you to change this long password here so I would recommend just to choose easy password for you to remember so let me go ahead and change that password and also you can change the name of the network so if you don't like to see a T-Mobile name you can change it I have already changed the password I'm gonna hit submit could take up to 20 seconds now also if you guys pay attention here to the router itself it says your connection is excellent so I didn't know why they keep telling me you don't have coverage for the Wi-Fi home internet so it looks like the coverage is excellent I'm not even on the window I have to be where the camera right now now here's what I'm gonna do right now okay now give me some problems here but don't worry about this so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna restart the modem by unplug this and plug it back in I believe this is the trick to make this work even if your address was not the address that T-Mobile told you it's going to work and now when the router come back on and tell you the condition of the signal you need to go to the Wi-Fi in your phone and wait till you see T-Mobile network because I did not change the name and I'm going to reconnect and check if the internet works or not now just go to the T-Mobile network, which is the Wi-Fi belong to the router, and put the updated password. And now I just put the password, now it says connected to this router. Now let me download speed test application and check the speed. Now I have downloaded speed test application. Also I want to show you that I'm on the same Wi-Fi, so T-Mobile e494 which is the same router we have here let's go ahead and click go and see the speed now 
Now, the download speed was horrible because the area where I'm recording the video right now, it does not have the best signal. When I put the modem nearby the window, I was able to get up to 50 and 60, 100 megabytes. It depends on the network. But overall, it works if you put it on the right spot in the area. Even the T-Mobile and Metro told me this is not going to work in your area. So I believe if you have... T-Mobile coverage in the area where you live, you can also have home internet service. It seems to me work on the same spectrum. Unless if you guys have a different opinion, leave this in the comment below. And I hope you guys find this video helpful. If it did, thumbs up, subscribe for more here on Variety Stick. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we'll talk to you in the next video.